Hello everyone, we welcome you to this free session. The name of the session is Foot in the Door Initiative. Uh, my colleague, Juliet, who is a barrister and solicitor in Calgary, she is going to give you details about uh, this session. In this session, we are not giving any free advice. This is just to uh, give you, tell you about an opportunity. Yes, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Amar, for the introduction. I must say that when you invited us to speak to your beloved students and others about our Foot in the Door initiative, I was thrilled because you guys are the ones that this initiative was founded for. So although Osuji and Smith lawyers have been, you know, on this mission of assisting internationally trained lawyers to gain legal experience for years, it was more by word of mouth. We are now making a more concerted effort to get the word out there, especially through partnerships like the one with the NCA online teacher and through social media. So thank you all for coming. And first, I really want to thank you, Mr. Amar, for going, for always looking for ways to go above and beyond to assist uh, ITL. You know, um, if you're joining us and you're looking to, of course, tackle the NCAs and you're not already registered with his classes, um, I would encourage you to do so. He was my teacher and he was a confidant and a therapist sometimes, you know, I was able to easily pass my exams because of him and you're such a mentor to, to everyone. So keep doing the good work and keep uh, giving back. You're incredible. So I... Um, I know that a few of my um, team members from the FIDI organization will be here and lawyers from Osuji and Smith lawyers who are part of the program as well. So I wanna welcome all of them. Um, very soon we're gonna have the presence of my uh, managing partner, um, um, Charles Osuji, who is also the founder of um, the Foot in the Door uh, um, initiative. Um, you know, um, if, if, if you are, if you're part of the Alberta legal scene a, a little bit, Charles Osuji needs no introduction. He was voted one of 25 most influential lawyers in Canada. So he'll be here to say a few words to you and you should look forward to that. So, um, so thank you for all the amazing lawyers from our firm that is joining me. Um, I think I see uh, Christy Eze, I see Joshua Williams, I see, I think I see Deborah Pierce, and, and all of you, um, one of the coordinators of FIDI as well, Shika, thank you for being here. So thank you all for being here. So um, I would like to go first to our first slide, if you can, if you can share that. First of all, I welcome Mr. Charles Osuji. We are honored to have you here as a guest speaker. I, on behalf of all 92 foreign lawyers attending the session uh, from our groups, we welcome you. We thank you. You are doing an excellent job and we are proud of you. We identify ourselves with you because you are one of us and we are one of you so mr charles welcome to the uh welcome to our session thank you mr Amar. much appreciated mm -hmm. okay so let's start by i'm gonna start by telling you a little bit about myself uh, my journey as uh, to becoming a lawyer um I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to talk about myself, but Charles insisted that I did a little bit. So please bear with me. Uh, maybe that will help you a little bit. So I was called in Nigeria and Canada is now the fifth country that I'm living in. Um, before I moved here, I worked as in-house counsel in a beautiful country called Oman. It's close to Dubai. So it's an oil uh, rich country. And the company I worked for called PDO uh, was a leading oil and gas exploration and production company jointly owned by the government of Oman and Shell. And it was responsible for 85% of Oman's GDP. Um, it had a diverse workforce that includes included about 9,000 employees and comprised of 60 different nationalities and more than 70 um, contractor staff. So I was employed there as only one of five in-house lawyers. And I was actually the first Nigerian woman to be employed directly by the company. 
So uh, as an in-house counsel, I helped manage a multi-billion dollar project and I was involved in courses that had to do with DNI and, um, you know, just helped shape policies that are in place in the company to, until today. Um, I think one of my proudest moments would be uh, being part of a team that led the signatory of the in, of the company into the United Nations Global Compact Initiative, which is one of the world's or the world's largest global corporate sustainability initiative. So I, I I'm saying this because you I felt like I had a vast wealth of experience before I came into Canada, and I thought then going back into the legal field in Canada would be a piece of cake, right? But I was in for a root shock. Um, I thought the difficult part would be getting my NCAs done and, you know, the rest would be easy, but it wasn't like that. While writing my NCA, I decided to get some legal work uh, to gain exposure, but I didn't know where to start. There was simply no opportunities and there's no, there was nobody to guide me. So I decided to volunteer then just to explore the legal landscape, which was, um, you know, very challenging. Um, I had no roadmap. So fortunately I met Bruce, uh, Bruce Randall, one of the, one of my mentors. He's also, uh, he was the head of Cryac, an organization that I will talk a little bit more about later. So, um, and he's also part of the FIDI initiative right now. So he introduced me to Charles Osuji and I communicated with Charles Osuji and told him that I would like to volunteer in his, in his thriving firm. And he wrote a long email application to him and he responded and told me he had space for just one day. I was, I was surprised. I wanted to volunteer, you have just one day, but he was, that was all he had, but I excitedly jumped, jumped at that opportunity. And from volunteering for one day, it got to two days, three days, and then every day. And then fortunately, I was retained by the firm as an articling student, and I was later retained as an associate. So as you can see, my practice areas are employment law, uh, civil litigation, wills and estates, and all of that. So I'm so happy to be part of the Osuji and Smith family. I'm always smiling. Someone to call me once that I was the, the smile of Osuji, Osuji and Smith. And I told them that we're all smiling there because we're, we're so happy to be in such a lovely and a wonderful thriving firm. Um, so um, let's go to the next slide. This now takes us Let's talk about the most important thing, our firm, Osuji and Smith Lawyers, as we can, as you can see, that's us, that's the family. Um, we're a medium-sized law firm with over 40 diverse staff. We speak over 20 languages. Our lawyers' age ranges from 20 to 70 years. And fun fact, our firm has won over 40 local and international awards for excellence in the legal field and the, in the areas of law that we practice. So. Um, our firm is arguably one of the largest BIPOC-owned uh, law firms in Canada. So as you can see, our vision for FIDI, um, our FIDI statement is, uh, you know, Charles Osuji founded the FIDI program to provide internationally trained lawyers uh, uh, um, a gateway um, to seamlessly integrate into the mainstream legal practice um, by introducing them to the practice, helping them network and establish their foot in the door, getting the foot in the door, which is not easy at all. As you can see from my experience and other, other experiences as well, I was fortunate to even get to know Charles really quickly. For others, it was harder. So let's go to slide three. Um, so as you can see from the slide three, um, the Food in the Door initiative is designed to introduce you to the practice. Like we said, you know, you grow your professional network in Canada, you learn and practice essential legal skills and gain that valuable Canadian work experience, you know, that will aid in your journey as a new lawyer here in Canada. Of course, with some exceptions, you need to complete the articling process to be called to the bar as a lawyer here, but the foot in the door does help you to, to attain that goal as, as well. Okay, so the next slide, please. Now the question is, why do we need the foot in the door? I have touched it, I've touched on it a little bit uh, with my uh, experience, but 
for one, we have about five here. Um, so let me take it one by one. Um, FIDI program provides you with the Canadian context, right? So as someone who went to school abroad and practiced abroad, many of you have very successful practice in your home countries and many years of experience. I, however, we, 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 we probably lack that Canadian context. So those who attend law school in Canada are exposed to the opportunity to volunteer in law firms uh, during the summer. Many are, of course, born and raised here. Now they understand the culture and the way Canadians work. So, uh, you know, how they speak and write in a way that Canadian clients can relate to. Now those nuances are not easy to learn and many law firms do not have the patience, time and resources to teach that. They want lawyers who are ready and who already know this. Um, so please do not get me wrong. It's not about having a foreign accent. Um, I will give you a, an example. So. Uh, just yesterday, a well-known Nigerian lawyer here who has a PhD, he's now a Casey, uh, which would be equivalent to a senior advocate of Nigeria or like uh, AOR in, in India. Um, you know, you also have a, a case cases in the UK. So he was telling us that, you know, when he first arrived, he, he was called aside by his mentor. And um, he told him, it's like, you're a very good writer. In fact, you write the perfect Queen's English, but your words are too high sounding. You know, you need to, you need to dumb it down a little. You need to simplify it. If not, you're going to turn off the clients, right? So he was surprised, taken aback, because where he came from, this is exactly what attracts clients. So just imagine going into an interview and thinking you're putting your best foot forward by speaking with these high sounding words, which is maybe normal for you, but you're actually going nowhere. So um, it's something to unlearn and then relearn. So for instance, in many cultures saying Madame, Sir, or Mrs. is a sign of respect, but in the Canadian culture, some people will see that as Maybe you calling them old and that would be a turnoff, right? And um, in your culture, what you consider assertive speaking, writing, uh, may be considered aggressive in the Canadian culture. So in that Canadian context, you know, the food in the door would help you lend it. And employers, knowing that you already have that, it just puts you ahead of the pack. Okay, so then um, food and thought also expose you back, same slide, exposes you to the various aspects of Canadian law. Um, our firm is considered uh, a full service law firm because we practice in diverse areas of law. Um, Mr. Mar, I'm still in the, in the um, slide four. I think I'll be calling out the, the slide so that you, you know. Um, so um, you are exposed to different areas of law when you when you are part of the Foot in the Door initiative. Um, you can quickly tell if you want to build on previous experiences that you already have back home, or if you want to relearn um, um, the practice that you already had, uh, but you want to relearn it here in Canada. Um, for instance, you might be practicing employment law in your, in your country, but you were turned off because the policies were not sufficient to protect workers um, or they were not properly enforced by the courts. But then you come here and you're exposed to employment law here and it becomes something that you want to pursue. And also you may be turned off by litigation before now, maybe in your home country, and then you come here and you're exposed to litigation and you quickly make up your mind that you would like to uh, go into litigation um, and that would help you navigate maybe the firms you would like to apply for for article in position so it exposes you to different aspects of uh, of practice here and then of course you get the Canadian work experience um, once you actually you have the actual work experience on your resume that becomes an added advantage in getting article in position or law related jobs. Um, in fact, my colleague of a colleague of mine was telling me the other day that you might have been a judge in your home country, but you are behind someone who has less experience here. Because the way it works here for many newcomers, your previous experience really counts with Canadian employers, unfortunately, especially if you are coming from developing countries like I am from a developing country. So it's unfortunate, but that's true. 
Um, um, there are laws that are trying to change that, but the actual fact is that it still remains the same. So, but when you have it on your resume, for instance, I assisted in drafting pleadings in a Canadian law firm. You're already ahead. You actually, you already have that Canadian work experience. So now we're going to networking. Um, foot in the door would also help you in your networking. You know, um, in many countries, um, it is who you know that determines the job that you get. Um, we're still in slide four, Mr. Mar. So it is who you know that determines the, the job that you, the job opportunities that are open to you. And it's, most, it's like that here in Canada. It's all about networking, networking, networking. And the best way to do so is to connect to volunteer organizations. Um, I had someone um, who actually got an amazing law position from volunteering at a soup kitchen because the person volunteering next to him works at that law firm. So FIDI will also expo expose you to those volunteer organizations. Then when you go through FIDI as well, you have that confidence you 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 have that confidence. You've been exposed to the to the Canadian law experience, and um, you know uh, you put that on your resume. That shines true when you are in interviews. Okay, so finally now, Mr. Ma, we are going to slide five. Okay, I'm gonna be calling out the slide names so you know when to to switch. Okay, so now uh, we're in slide five. We're gonna talk about the components of, of, of the foot in the door program, okay? So at, you, you have to, you get to attend client consultations. So um, you attend client consultations, which is designed with designated lawyers, either remotely or in person, and you are able to prepare accurate and detailed notes. Um, a client uh, consultation note to be provided to you, and the learning outcome is um, you 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 learn how to provide solution oriented feedback and navigate fast paced and complex situations with ease. Now let me tell you a quick story about consultation. The country that I was in, Oman, um, they were so focused on their people, empathy. They led with empathy, so I practiced law with empathy there, and I loved it. And I was wondering, can I do that in Canada? And I recall the first time I attended a consultation as a volunteer with Charles. Um, I was I was so moved by Charles's empathy. I saw that you do not uh, need to use high sounding words to impress clients. And the simpler you are, the better. Um, that is a skill that takes a lot to learn, putting clients at ease while explaining complex legal strategies in simple words. So this is the first step to, uh, to retaining clients. So exposing yourself to consultations will be a big help. So now let's go to slide six. Next slide. Now you'll be assisting lawyers. Um, slide six. Go back. So you'll be assisting lawyers with legal work, right? So essential component details are you'll be guided to assist lawyers with preparing legal documents like pleadings, briefs, claims, et cetera. Of course, those templates and sample documents will be provided to you. Um, you, be, you attend court proceedings with designated lawyers remotely or in person. And what are those? What are the outcomes of, of this? Um, you learn how to conduct research, legal research in Canada, uh, how to prepare legal documents the Canadian way, and you'll be familiar with the courts and the court proceedings. As I mentioned earlier, um, employers do not want to teach you this skill. So, um, even as an article student. So they expect you to know the style of drafting. So having this practical experience with Feedy just gives you a leg up. Okay, so now let's go to the next slide, please. Thank you. So another component of the Foot in the Door initiative is networking in Alberta, right? So like I said, it is who you know <laughs> that really matters here. So you'll be exposed to non-for-profit organizations, municipal bodies, and legal clinics. Um, these include um, um, places like Legal Aid Alberta, Pro Bono Law Alberta, 
Calgary uh, Region Immigrant Employment uh, Council, CRAC, the Elizabeth Fry Society, and all of that. And you'll be given opportunities to interact with guest speakers, renowned lawyers, and law professors in Canada through organized seminars. And uh, some of them will be conducted remotely or in person. And what does, what, what does that help you with? Developing and fostering meaningful professional network in Canada. Um, I want to say a little bit about CRAC. CRAC is very close to my heart because they introduced me to uh, my mentor and my managing partner, Charles CG. And um, he, I was introduced by my mega mentor, Bruce Randall, who was the head of CRAC at that time. I'll tell you, mentors are the best things to have here in Canada. Um, going back to Charles again, when I started um, uh, volunteering with Charles, even before that, he was my mentor. Um, but it was when I started volunteering with him that I saw how busy he was. But before every exam, he would text me or call me or send me a video message to tell me that I was going to do great. Um, that was such a confidence booster because when you're in a country where you're still building a support system, it's invaluable, you know, guiding you, right? Well, you know, how to study, where to go, you know, the networks to build, those those guidance, you cannot buy them. So um, getting involved with organizations like this will help you build that those meaningful professional network. It is gold in Canada and FIDI will help you with that. So now let's go to slide eight. So um, go back, Omar. Uh, slide, uh, this is slide eight. Oh, sorry, are we getting, was I getting the number wrong? Okay, so yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. All right, so professional personality development, right? So you keep developing as a lawyer, as we know. So the essential component details, you'll be expected to participate in organized mock trials and moot court sessions with lawyers in our office boardrooms. Um, you'll be assisted with preparing for articling job interviews. And of course, you attend lunch and learns in various areas of legal practice. And what are the key outcomes? You'll be familiarizing yourself with courtroom etiquette um, procedures, um, learning how to prepare and present legal arguments, and of course, expanding your knowledge of Canadian law. Um, obviously, as we know, increasing your knowledge in various aspects of law uh, just gives you a leg up. So that is something that Fidi is very passionate about, and we do it in such a fun and interesting way. All right, so let's go to the, the next slide, another component of Fidi. Yes, so you liaise, go back, please, one more. Uh, go back? Yes. So that is yes. eight. This is eight, huh? No, next one. Uh, next, this is nine. Okay, good. So that's where we are. So yeah, this is slide nine. So we liaise with legal assistant, and you have to liaise. You get to liaise with legal assistant and paralegal, the paralegal team in Osuji and Smith lawyers. Now, our proficient, I would say, we have the best legal legal assistant team in Alberta. You know, so because they are the first points of contact with clients, right? Um, all il initial legal documents are prepared by them, such as the retainer agreements, um, drafting of uh, some court documents, you know, accepting payments of clients, all of that. So what are the outcomes, right? You familiarize yourself with the rules and regulations of filing pleadings and other court documents and dealing with court clerks and understanding the office uh, workplace culture. Um, Yasmin, I don't know if you're here, shout out to you for helping me with this slides today so trust me um we are we are nothing without we are nothing without our legal assistance and we we keep learning we keep learning from them um they know the rules of filing maybe even better than we do and they and you having that knowledge when you are applying to a law firm is so valuable to employers i'll tell you that so that is the kind of the end of the um, overview of what you get when you volunteer with the FIDI program. I probably have not captured everything, but um, 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 that, is, that is kind of an overview. Um, so let's go to the next slide to see where we've been so far on, on, on FIDI. Saying a few words after me. Okay. All right. So I just want to tell you about where we are so far, and that will be slide 10. 
Um, are you sharing? Oh, uh, sorry about that. I was just uh, messaging him. Mm. Okay. Because once I start sharing the screen, then I am unable to see the members. Yes, we do have a lot of people in the room asking to join in, but of yes, yes, we do but, have full yeah, capacity. but we don't have the space. Yeah, yeah full capacity. Yeah. I think ten members were joining. Yeah. Yes, Juliet. Yes, please. Yes. Let's join. So up. yeah, so we go to the slide for CD so far, which is the next slide. Um. Uh, so slide number ten. Huh? Yes, please. Thank you. Um. So we have had um. Over 100 participants that have benefited from the Feed Food in the Draw initiative. Um, overwhelming majority, uh, I mean, I may say, I can be, go out on a limb and say maybe all, but they secured uh, article positions very quickly. Uh, most of them, a lot of them was retained, I won't say a lot, but many Feed uh, participants were retained by our firm. I can tell you right now that uh, the last 10 article in students uh, that we have uh, in the Osuja and Smith lawyers um, was retained uh, through the FIDI program, right? They were recruited from the FIDI program. So um, I, I was in the FIDI program and I was retained as an article in student and then eventually in the firm. And a lot of FIDI participants are now um, enjoying thriving legal careers uh, quicker than normal. Right, because they don't have to go through those obstacles that you know a lot of us you know went through. Um, so that is that is so beautiful. We're so happy to see that, and and we also gain because we we have that uh, amazing opportunity to work with uh, with um, lawyers from around the world, um, which employers have not caught up yet. Uh, Canadian employers have not caught up yet. Is their loss. We are happy to work with 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 lawyers from al around the world. We we are happy to give back to get that. We give them that training that they need to adjust to legal practice here in Canada, and um, and um, um, obviously uh, we we give back to them and we also get from them. So the last slide will be um, how to apply to the FIDI program. Um, Mr. Ma, so how to apply? Um, as you can see, I'm sure you've seen that on, on the top of every screen. Charles Osuji is the founder. Um, um, I and um, Shika Shukla, we are uh, the program coordinators for now. And um, you can email us at uh, fidi at osuji and smith.ca. You can reach, reach us at uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram, and let us know that you're interested. And you can visit our website at fidi.osujismith.ca and you see uh, how to apply uh, uh, um, section there. Um, I want you to know that Fidi is very flexible. That's why it was so unique. Uh, Mr. Ma, could you go back to that slide, please? Um, the uniqueness of, of it is that we understand that ITLs are, are navigating a lot of things, right? Some of your parents or a lot of your parents, you are coming back into the, co the country to reestablish your career. It's not easy, so we're flexible. Um, we, you can even um, um, volunteer for as little as nine hours uh, a week, and you could do a half day, you could do a full day. Um, that is something that we are the only ones that we provide that, but because we understand the need, and that is the reason why Charles Osuji um, founded this, this program and it has gained so much success. So um, that is that is it for me. Um, I'm so proud to be part of this program and thank you so much to uh, for listening um, uh, to learn about FIDI. So um, I don't know, subject to what Mr. Ma have to say, I would like to intro um, introduce my Managing partner, he's already been introduced, but Charles Susuji to also say a few words about the FIDI program. So thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you so much everyone uh, for attending and we uh, apologize because we had the maximum capacity 
of 100 participants. So at one point of time, we reached the maximum capacity. I received uh, many messages, but we apologize. Uh, uh, and as I said, uh, Minister of Alberta, Attorney General of Alberta, he would also be here just to say uh, hi to you. And then now uh, I welcome uh, Mr. Charles Osuji to say a few words. Uh, welcome, sir. Thank you, Ms. Omar. How many minutes do I have? Just to be <laughs> four, five minutes? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Five minutes is good? Okay, yeah, yeah. wonderful. Excellent work, uh, Julie, for um, that presentation. And I, the shout out to Joshua, I see Lion, I see Chrissy, all coordinators of, of VD. My personal story is the main driver for this organization. Um, as an internationally trained lawyer, you come into the country unsure of your capabilities. Uh, regardless of whether you're a star or you're so successful, whatever you're coming from, when you land in a foreign country, you know, self-doubt creep in, um, imposter syndrome creep in. You start asking yourself whether you have earned your place, whether you're good enough. And the problem is access to experience. Um, you're competing with folks uh, who are born and raised here locally. They have developed a network of relationships right from high school to university to law school. And these folks also have access to certain opportunities that are only unique to them. For instance, many law firms run the summer programs. And, and summer programs, as we all know, are extended to the first year law students, second year law students, third year law students. As an international trained lawyer, you do not qualify as a first year law student. You don't qualify as a second year law student. You don't qualify as a third year law student. So systematically, you are disenfranchised from that opportunity just by the by virtue of being an international, internationally trained lawyer. Um, I, I recall when I started my journey, the closest I got to a law firm was when I was working for a moving company and I was moving, we're moving furniture from one law office to the other. Um, that was me having an idea of what a law firm looked like because I didn't have access. That delayed my integration to the Canadian system by um, several months. And, I, and I've heard horror stories uh, from other people who have taken, who took over maybe two years or three years to get integrated because they did not have access. When I took over the firm um, a few years ago, I started asking myself, okay, now that I'm here, I have an obligation to make sure that those coming after me have an easier journey. Um, by so doing, I needed to formalize um, a volunteer arrangement for international trained lawyers. That was the birth of Foot in the Door Initiative. Uh, Food in the Door Initiative is still in the in the um, the, the the growth phase. Um, however, I can tell you, as Juliet mentioned, we've helped more than two hundred international trained lawyers, and we have maybe over forty or fifty applications that are pending right now as we speak. So the value of the program um, is immense. The program helps in many ways. It helps providing, as just indicated, the Canadian context, how things are done. It doesn't matter whether you graduated the best student in your class from where you're coming from. If you are not culturally attuned to how things are done in Canada, you don't get ahead. So the program provides that context. The program also provides confidence booster. Um, you know, it, it's one thing to have, I have no idea you have no idea the impact of your comments on the on the minds of the internationally trained lawyers. These are the moments that um, folks um, who look like us, who have our unique struggles, remember for a very long time. Um, understanding that the government is on the, on the government is ready to support our integration um, programs such as Foot in the Door Initiative. So thank you, thank you for those comments. Um, just to wrap up, uh, Mr. Amar, um, my my comment, the program is designed to spark a conversation across the country. Um, over the years, we've not had uh, a structured 
volunteer arrangement that cater, caters specifically to international train warriors. You know, what we've always had is the summer program, um, you know, some, uh, you know, similar programs that only cater to locally trained lawyers. We haven't had anything that caters to international trained lawyers. So part of FIDI's mandate is to spark that conversation and not just have uh, folks come to Osuja Smith to volunteer, but partner with other law firms across the country. Imagine if um, 20, 20 law firms across the country buy into the FIDI initiative. What we're gonna have in a year is um, at least 25 firms pledging to take on five to 10 international trained lawyers um, as volunteers. And from there, they ultimately transition into the, their um, successful careers. So is, it, is the conversation starter as part of our mandate? hoping that many other firms, other partners, including universities, um, organizations, not-for-profits, they buy in and have this movement um, continue to prosper. And again, this is not just a conversation that can only be had in the legal space. We are looking at, and the big picture here is once this picks up traction in the legal space, folks in the medical space, might also get, get attracted to, to the initiative. Folks in the accounting space, folks in the IT space, folks in, in the engineering space for international trend, professionals in those areas. Um, we are more than happy to pioneer this movement across the country. Um, and we are more than happy to continue to support because there's so much talent um, that international trend professionals bring to the table. And lastly, for the international trained lawyers who would um, be privileged enough to participate in this um, initiative, either within our firm or elsewhere, I encourage you to take advantage of it. Um, it's one thing to have a foot in the door and another thing to remain in the door and, and take advantage of it. Make sure that you um, take advantage connect with the lawyers. Um, if you are given an assignment, do the best you can. Bring 150% to work, uh, not once a week, but seven days a week. And the moment you become successful, the moment you, um, you find your footing, either by virtue of joining another law firm or setting up your own practice, make sure that you keep that culture of assistance going, the culture of um, extending a helping hand has to continue. This is how we grow as a community. Uh, this is how we succeed. This is how we establish ourselves in, in Canada. Without um, any more information to share, especially given the time constraints, Mr. Amar, uh, I thank you for the opportunity for sharing our vision with your class. And I challenge everybody who has participated today to apply for this program. We are looking to expand capacity so that we can cater to as many people as possible. And when you get in, take advantage of it. And when you succeed, help others succeed as well. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, Juliet, for making an excellent uh, presentation. Thank you, Charles Osuji, for your time. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Miki Amiri, for your valuable time. I know all of you have a super busy schedule. I thank you all the 100 foreign trained lawyers from different time zones. Uh, we were at one point of time, we were unable to accommodate all of you. So some of you already know me, some of you might not be knowing me. I'm also a colleague of Mr. Charles Osuji and Juliet. I'm a barrister and solicitor in the province of Alberta. I provide online help to foreign trained lawyers, anyone from any country of the world, if they want to join, if they want help. So me and Charles Osuji and Juliet were also thinking 
to uh, help you in different ways. So if you are associated with the FD group, with the office of Charles Osuji, I will have a special uh, consultation for you. So please type in the Google NCA online teacher. So this website shows up. So these have live sessions, these have notes, these have recordings. This is Ontario Bar. So I am always, always uh, uh, available for your help to help me and the office of Charles Osuji. I am helping you in the theoretical pass in um, part, like in preparing for the NCA exam. And Mr. Charles Osuji office is here to give you the practical training. I thank you, all the members, especially Juliet, Charles, his office, and Mr. Nikimiri. With that, we end our session. And I again thank you, everyone. Thank you so much.